Dan and I both had a lot of editing to do. So he's baking and I'm reading. <laughs> Hello Space Fairies! I actually don't have much to say just yet, so um, roll month and I'll see you at the end. Dan has made a delicious summer dinner with wine. What was your criteria, Dan? Uh, something inspired by the film It's Complicated, starring Meryl Streep and Alec Baldwin and Steve Martin. I think he's done very well. So we've gone with uh, sort of just a, a mixed pepper pasta. I've done some uh, cherry tomatoes, shallot, minced in some garlic. Sort of stewed that down for a bit. A bit rosé, mate. And a bit of sunshine. And a bit of a bit of sunshine, and just a just a dash of love. Oh, Stop! Put your camera away. Look like you're about to drop the most fire album, whatever that means. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. God, you're so in love. <laughs> Amy gave Giles a bath. He looks so much better. He does. We cut loads of his fur off. There's some bits that we missed, but I think he's done. This is just our life now. So the dog is still at Amy's house. We didn't finish watching Orange is the New Black and now I'm kind of at a party, so... Bang, 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 bang. The theme is space and beaches, so Tom came as guns. <laughs> Second phase. That's, that's later in the evening. Yeah. God, none of this is true. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, Daniel? Well, it looks like we're glowing. <laughs> uh, we're playing Mafia. Um, I think any moment now, Sam is about to explain some rules. <laughs> what are you? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. Nearly. What are you? I'm just a villager. Or am I? And I have the bad news to tell you that werewolves are prominent in this town. Sure. There are three of them, so it's, it's you know, it's, you still outnumber them. Last night, uh, they were feeling really hungry, really, really hungry, and the werewolves decided that they wanted their first victim to be none other than Eddie Bowling. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there any use then in, if we still have the hunter, them taking them out? Yeah. The lynch to get rid of someone else. Do yeah. we have any other theories though? Well, oh, no, because I don't know anyone else. else. I, 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 but do we have any other theories in the group? Like, does anyone else want to come forward and say, like, what made you suspicious of Rob? Like, I guess this is what we're doing with our day. You know how I'm a really good friend? You are a very good friend. Thanks for getting up on Sunday morning to come and see Despicable 3 with me. That's a change in place. <laughs> It's a bit nice, isn't it? A bit nice. A bit nice. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, oh. Hey, other buddy. <laughs> it's your bad. birthday. My tummy hurts. Okay. Parkour. Go jump on Charlie. Go jump on Charlie. Go jump. Look at him here. <laughs> <laughs> Is it snakes? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's some knives, forks, and spoons. <laughs> and they are all incorrectly labelled. <laughs> knife on it. This says. Oh my god! Spoons. Thank you so much. I thought it was perfectly you. Oh, oh god. Pick him up. Can you come up here? How do I pick him up with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Face is, it, it, it 
his leg is snout is actually longer than when we last saw him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ow! <laughs> yeah. There it is. All the Tom birthday oh, footage is very quickly what? just turning into squidge. Oh yeah, He's this is my life. I'm drinking the largest gin and tonic I've ever made in my life. Jeez. This is this is half a bottle of gin. <laughs> Uh, and you have games like Drawful, Fibbage, Quiplash. That's what we're playing. When you see us playing games, should you track Jackbox, please? Please stop asking, it's my birthday. Wow, so that was short. So bottom line is, a lot of footage for June went missing. And most importantly, a lot of that footage was the stuff where I explained just what the bejeez was actually going on ever. Whose dog is that? Why are you at Amy's? What? 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 But also, on top of that, uh, it was just a bit of a quiet month. June? No, it wasn't. I'm lying to you. But it was a very quiet month in terms of filming. Because there were a lot of times where stuff happened that I was just kind of happy to let happen. And it wasn't that I forgot to film, I just actively chose not to because I started feeling like some memories, some memories were mine and whoever else I was with. But I want to fill you in on one particular gap because I don't know, I realised it was kind of telling about how I look back on my own life as an editor. So, about the dog. I went to Amy's um, to marathon Orange is the New Black. This is part of an annual tradition we have where as soon as a new series comes out, the day it comes out, I go to sleep over at Amy's and we sit in our pyjamas and eat nachos and binge watch the entire series so by the next morning we don't care if there are any spoilers because we've seen it all. Only this year we didn't actually manage it because about six or seven episodes in, Amy's husband comes home with a stray dog. So he literally found the dog wandering the streets outside their home and the dog's fur was matted. He had no collar, as far as we could tell, no microchip. And he was very, very neglected and underfed and it was just, it was so super sad. But the dog was so happy to see us and he was so kind and happy and fluffy and we just, we kind of all fell in love with him right away. So rather than binge watching Orange is the New Black, we just spent the whole day grooming him and loving him and we gave him a bath and he had knots in his fur and Amy cut the knots out and she cleaned him and fed him and he played with Dexter, Amy's dog. I fell in love with him and we named him Giles and Amy fell in love with Giles and Dexter fell in love with Giles and Amy's husband fell in love with Giles and it got to the point where Amy was fully ready to adopt this stray dog. Later that day I went to a friend's birthday party and then I went home and Amy was kind of texting me live updates about Giles, about how he was falling asleep at her feet, how he was getting along really well with Dexter and he spent the night at her house. Next morning Amy takes him to the vet and the vet is able to locate a microchip on Giles and using this microchip he's able to find Giles' original owners who did not realise that their dog was missing. So basically these scumbags had lost their dog at some point, didn't know, didn't care, didn't bother to look for him and it had only been two days and no dog gets that knotted and matted and underfed in two days so they were neglecting him to begin with, these scumbag horrible people. But legally Giles had to be returned to his original nasty owners and Amy who had fallen in love with this dog as her whole family and I had done, she had to just say goodbye and it was Honestly, genuinely, completely heartbreaking. So cut to two months later, where I'm sitting down and editing this footage, and sure enough, I find all the videos that we had of Giles. And I just, I just started sobbing, remembering this poor dog. And at that point, I fully debated with myself about whether or not to leave those Giles clips in this video. Because the footage made me sad, and yeah, sometimes when I find that footage, in hindsight, makes me sad, as it sometimes does, I choose to edit that footage out. I kind of go all eternal sunshine of the spotless mind on it. If I can edit it out of a video, maybe I can pretend it never happened. But a part of me recognised that it wasn't a sad memory. It was a happy, happy memory that just had a very sad outcome. So yeah, I left it in because I want to remember Giles. And that is a choice that I made when making this video. And this isn't so much to do with I don't know, truth or integrity. It's not like I'm confessing that I feel compelled or obligated to show you guys a completely honest version of my life. I mean, to a point I, I do feel that way. But I also kind of know that without running a GoPro 24 seven, that's an impossible standard to meet. So everything that you do see is still the result of my decisions on what to show you. So this particular little moment and that specific one little moment with Giles kind of serves as a reminder to myself and also to you that everything you see in little moments is 
edited and it is the result of a decision that I've made. Whether that's a decision to film it in the first place or to cut it out or leave it in or trim it or even just put music over it. I've started to become very aware that I am constantly making choices about how to represent my life in videos that you guys see. To the point where I've even realised that I've started live editing little moments wherein I will edit a moment out of a final video simply by choosing not to film it. And I'm making that choice a lot more often and I think it's starting to affect what I have to show you in videos. So I guess I hope I just start choosing to film more. We shall see.